underground artists, all of our main artists. Y'all know I love y'all here. And we really had a great, amazing year. So thank you guys for making it a very eventful and amazing year, okay? We've had a lot go on and I feel like we've accomplished a lot. How are you, son? How was your day been? Happy Friday to you. Thank you for coming through to the stream. And time for cheers. Baby wants a hula hoop. Send away Christmas, don't be late. Hey, yo, what's going on, Pastel? Let me fix my camera because it's not big. And y'all can't see my reindeer antlers. I can see my reindeer antlers now. Happy Friday to you. Merry Christmas Eve to you as well. Thank you for coming through to the stream. How are you? How was your day been? Did y'all get y'all shopping in? Hopefully nobody was shopping other than Taylor Renee on Christmas Eve. Cause when I say that girl, it's a different breed. Shorty's a different breed. Cause it wouldn't be me. I tell everybody, look, I got y'all come New Year's. Like just let's eat and let's be merry in the company of one another. Don't beat me up. Y'all just ain't got no gifts. Like you out here shopping on Christmas Eve. but welcome guys welcome thank you again for coming through to the stream it is friday we're normally not here with the university hill stream but since i am not streaming tomorrow or sunday for holiday reasons we are gonna get it in today oh thank you amory it's perfectly fine pastel you, you are part of No Game Gang. We love you just the same. I'm at work, sadly. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hopefully they're not treating you like a slave. Are they feeding y'all today since they got you at work? I mean, that's just ridiculous. That's just crazy. And I, I, don't, I don't necessarily appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna play this little trap Christmas playlist and we're gonna see how it goes, okay? We're gonna see how it goes. I'm Team Amazon. Not only do I buy gifts, but some money goes to my sorority sister scholarship. Hey, sorority house. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Come on, Saint Nick. They jamming, so we're gonna keep it. But okay, so we're back. If this is your first time to the stream, we welcome you. I am Shay Lavi, your intro artist, and this is. University Hills. I don't know where my mom is going. Um, I'm your intro artist as well as your debut streamer for today. And this is University Hills. Episode 3. New week, new team. But I was in the Discord before I started to stream. And we'll definitely go over that just in case you aren't a part of the Discord. Um, I have a university's channel in the Discord and I decided for season two the things that I do offline instead of me waiting until I stream to tell y'all what happened I might as well do it in the Discord where you guys can read about it and then we can talk about it on stream uh, well we had our Christmas dinner on the 15th for some reason they bogus just say that you didn't want to feed me and and leave it at that like just say that you really didn't care about me for the holidays and you really just wanted me in here working because that just doesn't make sense sweets no shot sweets i don't have any liquor no shots the chaos the chaos 
So how long until Ivy makes her glorious, much anticipated appearance? Now, Amory, I don't know because I mean it really just depends on if if people really if people leave the house. It really just depends on who's leaving the house. I can't say anybody's leaving the house right now. We haven't got. This is going to be the first week where we get the the grades for everybody. So we'll see where we end up. But I had to I had to go live because what was popping off in the house. I was like, I can't not not like be here and go live. I can't not 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 have these things happen. I don't know who this strange man is, but Maya has been out here talking to him for a good little minute. Why not? Especially on Christmas. Do you think I'm buying followers on Christmas? Ain't nobody doing it. Like, we not even doing none of that. We ain't even doing none of that. Okay, I had to be sure that was the only thing that I missed. Okay, so um, I basically kind of just did like an update in the Discord of what was happening throughout the week since I was playing offline in the house. I'm make, making sure everybody got their homework done, making sure their projects and term papers were done. A couple of them still have a couple of term papers and projects to do, but they have two days left of the term. So we're gonna play out the rest of the two days and I'm pretty sure they'll get their grades before we end stream. Um, the main goal of, the main couple goals of the channel are to be to vote in, to vote in two new team captains for the week. Um, we applaud Charlie and the Tamri for being team captains for the first week of University Hills. They did a great job. They did a wonderful job. Um, Charlie led her team to victory with the competition round. So, I mean, you know, they did a great, they did a great job leading their teams. And the Tamri, you know, she kept together. She kept together. <laughs> So we have to vote in two new team captains. We are also going to be taking Jordan over to the Happy Homes daycare center so that she can go and see her son because her son is over there at the daycare center just chilling, relaxing, minding his business. But of course, you know, she just wants to see him a little bit. So we're gonna have a, a trip over there. Um, Maya has a aspir what is it? Is it aspiration or is it a whim? It's a whim. She has a whim to where she wants to throw a party. And I think that sounds plausible. I think we should meet a couple of different beach friends, just invite a couple of neighbors around town to the party and just kind of solidify, hey, we're season two University Hills, we're here and you know, we're ready to have some fun. Like, don't be so loud in my ear. Especially Charlie, bless her heart, I swear. I'm about to go full screws this year. I went to the store Thursday to get the doggo, his Christmas gift, and some eggnog for myself. The store was completely out of eggnog. The world has no meaning for me anymore. Swear to God, Amory, I went to three different stores today in the vicinity of my neighborhood of where I could go because I wasn't going any farther than where I went and all of the stores were out of eggnog and I really wanted to uppercut everybody in the store because I really think they do that on purpose because how the freak, how the freak from the time Thanksgiving ends, matter of fact, before Thanksgiving, y'all start putting it out Thanksgiving, how we come to Christmas and ain't no eggnog in the stores. I don't understand. It's a conspiracy and I feel like the store, the, the personnel, the people in the bag, they be holding eggnog for themselves and I'd be ready to ask, can I look in the back? Okay, can I go check the inventory? Can you give me the list and I go see what's back there to see if myself, if it's really back there? Because I really feel like you lying to me, sir, madam, ma'am. Okay, like, but I be respectful and I just walk out the store so I don't get banned because these are the only stores I go to and I, you know, I ain't trying to find new stores. But I really feel like they be like, you know, I really feel like they be like, they be playing with us. They be playing with us. Thank you, Queen, for the follow. Happy Friday to you and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. 
Coming from a person who used to do that, they holding it for the staff. I swear to God, I know they is, sweet. I know they is, okay? Because I be seeing them when they be checking out when stores about when, when the store be about to close. I come up there with two minutes left just to see who walking out of here with eggnog. Because when I came in here earlier, it wasn't nothing in here. So what's popping? What's going on? I be I'm telling you, I be ready to ask the manager, but I don't want to be seeming like that crazy ass customer. But I'm about to be, I'm about to start being that crazy ass customer. Come, come next Christmas, okay? I be trying to be respectful, like, oh, they out there, yeah. But three different stores, mm -hmm, somebody holding something hostage, and I don't like it, and I don't like it. Okay, where was we at? All right, the rehash, the rehash. So while we were playing offline, um, this is what I had put into the discord because this is this is what had happened so at the top of the week um it was class time i was making sure i knew you know everyone knew where they had to be or so i thought because everybody really seemed really responsible when we were playing they were they were doing their homework without me having to like really cue them up to do their homework they were doing their projects but i was like look this is this is season two turning a new leaf and I'm loving it, okay? But Maya, Jordan, and Castile, they all missed one class this week. Uh, Jordan worked on her term paper to the point where she just wasn't looking at the clock and she missed her class. Maya took a nap and she slept through her class. Don't really know how that happened because I thought homegirl was well rested. And then Castile decided to hit the confessional before class and I thought he was in there talking to his family because that's what it seemed like he was in there doing. Like he was in there having a phone call or like a video chat. So I left it be because this was like an hour before he had class. So I just left him in there. I come back to the confessional like two hours later and man's is still in there. And at this point he's playing Billa Block on one of the little tablets in the room. And I'm like, so you missed class to play a game, sir? If this was season one, he would have been pointed for missing class because that was a season one rule like you was you was gonna get pointed if you was out here missing class so he took his chances with that but he wasn't I, I made sure he wasn't gonna miss his second class that he had but I don't know if he was trying to get like extra credit points or whatever because he he went to class naked so I, and I dropped some of the pictures in the discord for them to see man just walked out the house naked like he was going to class then, um, last week, if y'all remember, Sia and Ryder got into a nice little tussle, okay? Because we know how you ladies like to tussle. They got into a nice little tussle, and we had to move rooms. We had to move Sia and Ryder from rooming together, and Maya really was the only factor to that because Charlie was team captain, and she was sleeping in, in the team captain room, so... Maya had to move rooms and so now she was rooming with Ryder and we moved Sia into the room by herself and everything was like peaceful for a little bit but I'm checking on everybody I'm going around the house and then I go upstairs and Maya and Ryder are arguing in the room and I just feel like Foxberry's like teamwork is being broken down by this riff okay i feel like maya is choosing sides and i feel like everybody else will will start to choose sides i mean charlie is the only again she, she's the only factor and i feel like she's in the middle she's being pulled toward two different directions and it's not right okay it's not it's not okay we're not here to divide a team okay y'all supposed to be y'all supposed to be putting all that energy toward the other team and you out here fighting each other it's just really crazy it's really wild but Maya and, and Ryder had a nice little argument and then Maya went downstairs and then she was talking to Charlie and Jordan at the table and it seemed like she was trying to like, you know, put a bug in their ear about Ryder like, hey, I don't really like how she moving around the house and I, don't, it, I, I get this is a competition between school teams at the same time, this is still a competition and I feel like she gotta go. So seemed like they was kind of plotting, trying to get her out the house and I don't really know how that's gonna go, but we'll see, we'll see. The last thing that happened of the week was Jordan getting attacked by some spiders. Y'all know how we have, I don't I don't know what it is. Um, I really don't. I don't know if it's creepy crawlies or what, whatever the house trait, the lot trait is, but the house guests are pretty fed up with getting attacked by these 
surprising nature <laughs> th nature scares that they have going on so she was bit by some spiders she hasn't been feeling well for the past couple of days but I think she's all right now I think she's okay now I think she's gonna live I think she's straight coming from the person <laughs> oh question if I redeem confront then what does it do left while I'm trying to learn and contribute to the chaos mainly you're just you're just confronting a sim about either you know discrepancy that you have or I think that's what the see sweet you gonna make me go and read the daggone thing because that's literally what I don't I don't necessarily did I not put a redemption did I not put a description okay well that's my fault well yeah so I think Joshania had redeemed it before and when Joshania redeemed it she wanted I think it was like right after Ryder left her dirty clothes on the floor. Joshania redeemed it for Alessia to confront Ryder about her dirty clothes on the floor. So it's really just, you know, you picking whatever, whatever fight that you want to confront somebody about or whatever issue that you have or, or that you think a sim has with somebody else in the house. <clears throat> That's mainly what the confront is. So we just confront them having a conversation if it leads to if it leads to other things that's just what it is I mean we can't we can't do anything about that because that's exactly what happened with Ryder and Sia Sia went to go confront Ryder now Ryder now granted Ryder was asleep and Sia could have waited so she woke up to let her know about her clothes on the floor but she decided to wake her up in the first place so that's how that happened um, and then the Tamri was caught cleaning up cleaning up the beach sis is definitely like on activist mode okay she's out here trying to really be an activist out here in, in the world and she's been cleaning up the beach and before we went live homegirl has amelia now cleaning up the beach and they was just everybody was out there cleaning up the beach and i'm like okay so okay well all right we're trying to come okay hold on sweet wait wait because we got we, we we have a lot that's just going on in this little bubble that we have going on right here i don't know who this crazy um slender man is that maya has been conversating with but he's been out back for a while okay they've been out back for a while i paused it before we went live because as i'm just checking this out excuse me sir um i had noticed that somebody was up on the porch and I was like sir how did you get here and who are you talking to and where is your wife at and why and again why are you here so Sammy for some reason has just decided I'm gonna pop in to the season two house talk to some of the cast members and see what's popping see what's going on and I'm just like sir we didn't I didn't say that we was gonna have a special guest this episode I didn't even know that you were gonna be here but you're here
Okay. Which one was it? Was it a figure then? Okay, I found it. Just understand, Joshua, if they change schools or if they change majors, they still have to graduate on time, okay? Okay. It's called I'll figure it out. That's called that's the redemption for it. How was your day been though, Jacquees? I don't even think it's okay. There we go. Well, Maya has a nice little relationship with this man. Okay, so I want to let y'all know what Taylor texts back. I texted her and I said, <laughs> I said, I'm love. But I'm live and Sammy is sitting here talking to Amelia at the house. How did he get in here? And Taylor texts back and said, I'm abstaining in protest of the constant bullying of Ryder. Also, Sammy is out here cheating. Amelia, Amelia looked like Maple and he reminiscent. And I said the same thing. Like our minds really like work the same in the same way because how did I literally just say the same thing? I didn't believe the man was, ma'am, excuse me, who are you? Okay, Sammy, I feel like you done brought these people over here to their house and both of y'all now have to go. Cause ma'am, who are you? Oh, you go to school? You go to school with them, ma'am? Who you know over here? Look, Sammy said, y'all talking about me too much. And Millie said, all right, I'll be seeing you, Sammy. Nice talking to you. Appreciate you for checking on us. All right. Good to get to know you. Charlie, do you know this woman? Cause ma'am, you don't really go to school here. We don't really know you. You're not on the show, but I mean, if you're somebody's friend or guest or... <laughs> Who is Maple calling, talking about some, I want you, you, Maya? How do y'all have a friendship? You don't know Maya, Maple, cut it out. That is wild. Sammy split and Maple <laughs> Amelia back up from Sammy as a wife and your mama raised you better than that. Look, she looking at that man like she don't care. That's how she was looking at Sammy like she don't care. And you know what? That's wild. That's real wild. But we gonna, um, okay. All right, we're gonna move on. That was wild. Maya has, okay. Maya has this crazy little romantic thing going on with man's back here, but I think she's done. Maple would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? Maple is trying it. She is trying it. She has called twice in the last 45 seconds. Ma'am, we just took your call and I said, I didn't want to come over your house. So she called back and said, well, what if I come over there? Can I come over there though? Is that okay? I just wanna see you. I just wanna pop in. I just wanna be like, hey, how you doing? It's the way that Maple and Amelia really favor each other and it's wild. Cause Sammy was there like, he was really reminiscing. He was really reminiscing. How Maple called back twice? You don't wanna come over my house? Okay, well I wanna come over there. Okay, can I come over there? Taylor, yo, why, why Maple Wildin, yo, why Maple Wildin? She called, she called Maya the first time and was like, hey, you wanna come over my house? And I'm pretty sure that was the phone call to be like, so what was my husband doing over there? <laughs> I heard he was over there, okay? All right, 
Nah, it ain't. Nah, nah, nah. I don't even see it being that type of relationship. I feel like Maple was trying to get some information. I feel like she feel like Maya, Maya and her are friends. She could, she could, she's very persuasive. Maple got that, got that, got that swift talk. Okay. I did a freestyle to this last year and I'm trying to remember it. It was Shea Bell's wriggling, but I can't. Okay. Anyway, um, now Maple call in and, and it's just not okay. It's just not, it's just not a thing. Maya's like, I got bigger fish to fry. We have to go and um, confront Castile because man's walk in on me. Oh, oh, hello, sir. Wait, Maya's like, wait, hello. Uh, hello, H hello, sir, who are you? Hello. I see you with the rings on your finger. Hello. What's up, cutie? How are you? Are you a flower deliverer? You got flowers for me? You got a headache from that? Now, Maya. He's cute, though. He's really, really cute, though. Man's is, man's is cute, though. He's cute. Well, I mean, at this time, Joshania, I'm going to refund you your points because we can't do that. We have to have four on each team. So, somebody would have to necessarily switch. And I don't know. I don't know. Mm, I mean, we could do that. We could take a vote. We could take a vote to see who's switching with, with Ryder. Switch over to Foxberry. Whose grandpa is that? He is not nobody's grandpa. That is an adult. How both of y'all do, I figure it out. I got to refund somebody. Or Taylor, did you redeem it so that you could pick who was going to switch with Ryder? Is that what you did? Who on the other team? Brychester is Natamri, Jordan, Castile, and Amelia. We gonna do a swap, see? All right. Okay. It's gonna be after this term, of course. It's gonna be after this term. Once this term ends, they'll swap because they're still. Uh, they have two days left of the term. Jack, <laughs> Jack. Uh -uh. Look, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get you more friends. Okay. All right. Okay, you're having a very tense time, Maya, because your friend balance is crashing, and I'm just trying to say, yeah, like you gotta meet more people, you gotta accept these people, okay? Ah, so, so. All right, I know, I know the people in, on your team and in your house are not really, I know, it's difficult, it's difficult. But as soon as that happens, where can Steel go? Where his little bucket head egg go? The farm besties, I'm so done. Think we can all agree to a swap, okay. Yup, Jordan. Oh. Why Jordan? Dang. She was definitely, she's like made for Brightchester. Definitely made for it, but dang, Jordan, all right, we gonna have to do a nice little swap out. Oh. Go ahead and get a missions and missions started on that paperwork and everything. We can do a nice little swap out and it'd be all smooth. Okay, all right. See, y'all starting to talk to these men and they're getting just a little bit too comfortable where they can just think they can come up and sit up on the porch now, okay? This is not a thing. Right, you can come in here. Use the bathroom, please. And then we need to go and confront Castile on how he just walked in on on everybody. When I say everybody, I mean him, him and himself. Like walked in on people he was not supposed to be walking in on. Pride and prejudices. This is the only one that you have and you haven't started it yet. Stop playing with me.
Oh no, tomorrow is Wednesday. That's 50% done. This is not started. But even still. Ain't nobody got time for this. Matter of fact. Doom, 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 doom. We gonna start a study group, start a gathering. See, where are you going? To the bush? Okay. Well, who do you have a sentiment with? What's going on? What's popping? Who's popping on the sentiments list? Oh, Ryder. We, well, I mean, we already know that you have a very tumultuous relationship with Ryder. We do understand that. We do understand that. Despise. Things have gone awry with this relationship. Can it be salvaged? Amelia, take a bath. Your mama is watching you. <laughs> Progress report, Ryder. I got you. Well, she better hope she made for Foxberry. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> she better hope she made for Foxberry. Festering grudge. Alicia has a deep-seated grudge against Ryder. It's hard to for forgive, forget or forgive the past, which may make being around Ryder feel very unpleasant for Sia. Ryder's sentiments about Sia. Ryder feels wronged by Sia and being around Sia will remind Ryder of that pain. And that's crazy because this is actually like I feel like the actual issue between them Ryder has the right to feel wronged about. Okay, you woke me up out of my sleep about my clothes being on the floor. You could have waited till I woke up to have this conversation and I think it would have went a totally different way. When you wake somebody up out by they sleep, like you have no choice but to deal with those type of consequences. So Ryder should feel wrong. Now see a despising Ryder, like that's, that's you brought that on yourself because you wanted to fight Miss Ma'am, okay? You wanted to fight Miss Mama. Now why you do that? She's being bullied. And y'all refuse to see it. I'm, I didn't say that she wasn't being bullied, Taylor. I was just stating, you know, for the, for the simple fact that Ryder ain't really have to put her hands on that girl. Okay. She did not have to put her hands on that girl at all to get her point across. And the fact that she did just solidifies that she has a lot of growth. A lot of personal growth that she needs to work on so that she can handle situations without violence. Okay? Without violence. She wouldn't have to put her hands on that girl if she approached the situation. I claim self-defense. <laughs> At the same time, see it was coming with words, okay? And it's not like she said anything to the left or out the way that was like wow and wacky. She really just was saying, you are the cause of our points, ma'am. She was saying everything that was factual, to be honest. Like if we're really going there, she was saying everything that was factual. Okay, see where are you at? You're upstairs on the second floor. Okay. Charlie, if you would be a dear, because I know Foxberry has not started. You started gathering for me, doll. Thank you. And Maya, we still have to go and confront Mr. Castile. What's going on, beautiful? How are you? Happy Friday, Mercrima. Mercrima Eve to you. I thank you for coming through to the stream. How has your day been? Did you get all your holiday shopping out of the way? Hopefully we were not a Taylor Renee out here shopping on Christmas Eve. Out here being just totally irresponsible. Okay, so Taylor also redeemed progress report redemption to check on Ryder's progress uh, grades. I mean, Sia did throw the first punch during the first, the first time. I mean, she did. She technically did. 
Um, if you want to know how you're doing in CSI tree into the forest pathology, there's no, not much of this course left and I think you are you have a very good chance of failing it. I'm not sure what else to tell you at this point other than to try to do more work earlier next time. Okay, writer. Well, I mean, at least she's dominating at beating people up, but it does not seem to be like she's dominating at CSI tree into path pathology, okay? It's not seem like she's excelling. Now, Shorty has been going to all her classes, though, and she's been doing all her homework, so I don't understand. I really don't understand. But that's just one class, Taylor. That's just one class, you know? No, Maya, come up here. Merry Christmas to all. I need to wrap my gifts. Me too. I still have gifts to wrap. Um, I still have my sister's, no, my mom's shirt that I have to finish um, decorating. But other than that, like, shopping is done. Shopping is done. Gifts just need to be finished wrapping. Then I got a pack. I got a finished pack of me and Mr. Chuke stuff. We're going to my sister's house tomorrow to spend Christmas with them. Because he had to work tonight. So early in the morning we'll be on the road. And all of that jazz. Nope. I think a deep conversation is in, in, in order here. Okay. Because we need, we, need we need to grasp some understanding from you, sir. Like, what the, was going through your head? See, even the professors have to be mean to her. What? Who are the captains this week? The captains? Um, we haven't voted on uh, team captains this week. Last week's captains were Natamri and Charlie. Uh, we just haven't done the vote for this week yet. Because I was waiting to see. I was waiting to get their grades. Uh, Ryder, we need to know the grades for your next two classes. What's poppin', ma'am? Okay, you still checking? Okay, well, hurry up, please. Thank you. Twenty, we're going on twin. Happy Friday to your Merkram Eve to the Bell Pack. Thank you for the follow, Black God. Merkram Eve to you. Thank you for coming through to the stream. How are you, man? Finally got a second to breathe. I see. My dad called. Did I miss the conversation? What I missed? No, 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 no. Maya is on her way to have a nice deep conversation with him now, as well as Ryder is checking her um, her grades right now. Uh, you want to know how you're doing and building with the sales course writer? You put in a solid term and have earned a solid grade. Any, addition, any additional academic work you've still got to do will help, but your grade is certainly satisfactory. Okay, well, she's passing that course. All right there, writer. All right, rowdy writer. Uh, you want to know how you're doing in your anatomy for amateurs course? You put in a solid term and you have a solid grade. Any additional academic work you've still got to do, but will help your grade. Your grade is certainly satisfactory. Okay, so two out of two out of three. Okay, two out of three. And we still have two days left of the term. We can turn her grade around. She's she might not fail CSI. I mean, if you fail in a course about trees, like what does that say about you, writer? What does that say about you? Merry Christmas, just here to chill and enjoy. No worries, we appreciate you for coming through and we welcome you into CG Studios. So two out of three, and we can, again, we can still turn it around, okay? While you're there, ma'am, all right? She already gave her presentation for one of her classes. She has two final exams. Let's go ahead and get your work done for CSI. Let's get that out the way, writer. So you won't have no problems.
Thank you for the bell pack shout out. Although your guy baby being raggedy, leave my baby alone. Why the fuck is she even taking a course about trees? It's, I mean, it's, it's for biology for some reason. It's for biology for some reason. All right, so Maya's already tense as it is, okay? She's really been trying to relax around the house. And so she took a nap and she woke up. And when she woke up, she was like, I need to go take a nice, hot, steaming, inspirational shower so that I can just get a burst of inspiration and motivation and finish my project and do everything she was supposed to do. Well, Shorty went into the shower. And before we went live, Castile, for some reason, literally just walked in on her while she was in the shower. It was really awkward and it really left Maya still feeling tense as hell she wasn't relaxed whatsoever so um Maya is confronting Castile and she really just wants to know like what the f dude like why did you walk in she, like first of all you're you're on Brightchester's floor okay because that's your team why were you on Foxberry's floor why were you in Foxberry's bathroom why were you in front of the shower watching me shower it's really really wild and if you want to see the photos i've dropped them in the discord in the university hills channel it was it was really crazy so they're having kind of like a deep conversation and we're just gonna try to figure it out we're just gonna try to figure it out i was like what's up cassie i just have a question okay because i haven't been having a, a good day i have been having a good week it's just been a crazy time like why did you walk in the bathroom he was like what she was like the bathroom and he's like i mean it was the bathroom, you was in the shower. Like, what do you want me to say? You look good though. I was like, don't do that no more. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, would you do that at home? You do that to your parents, your grandma, your mama? And he's like, who is you yelling at, okay? I said you look good. I walked in the shower, what's the problem? Castile is giving like non-awareness, like self-awareness is not here, it's not there doesn't really feel like he understood the assignment. Maya's pissed. She's like, bro, I don't like that you did that and I don't like that you're not apologizing and that you're not understanding how I feel. Castile's like, at the end of the day, I don't feel like I should apologize. I gave you a compliment. You look good. This is like a never ending issue. Maya's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. I don't think that's gonna get resolved at all. Okay. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna get resolved at all. But she won the argument at the end of the day, okay? And that's really all that matters. Go ahead, Maya, with the debate skills, okay? Victory! Watching your opponent reason and rhetoric crumble before your impeccable logic is immensely satisfied. At the end of the day, she made sense, okay? compliment egregious act it does not correlate Castile okay it doesn't correlate sir you can't just walk in on me while I'm taking a shower and then be like well I gave you a compliment what's the problem the problem is you walked in the shower in the first place you wouldn't really have to give me a compliment if you wasn't in the bathroom how about you just not do that anymore and we'll be square Castile's feeling like he needs to go call his family and I'm like, no, sir, you're not, you're not allowed in the confessional, cause no. When we voting for captains, after they get their grades, Taylor, they got two days left of the term. You out here providing whole context and here, but was judging me last night over Ahmad and Chanel plus his other raggedy baby mama. When I say I was judging you, twin, when did I say I was judging you? Where was the judgment? Oh, you're dirty. Oh, you're you're dirty. I don't even know if you were getting ready to come in here, Natamri, but she has to shower, so I'm gonna ask you to find another bathroom. Oh no, you were going to your bedroom to sleep. Is your homework done? Let's 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 check to make sure you're good to go for tomorrow. You got 50% of your homework that needs to be done done, and I don't feel like you sh you 
-hmm. Not to say you're not like a deserving of sleep. I just, I feel like you should like get that done before you like decide you want to slumber. You feel what I'm saying? Like you should like do that. You should do that, okay? Yep, misinterpreting statistics. Go ahead and knock that out. Ryder, she's getting that popping. You're out here talk, chatting with the Tammy? Okay, all right. All right, I don't know whose son this is. Sir, you need to, oh, okay. Ryder out here having a nice little conversation with this young man, okay? She done found her a friend. Go ahead, Ryder. I was not judging you in your alien relationship with that man and them babies, okay? I think that I was more, I think I think I, I was more amused with the fact that, that you hit me with like the emergency. Like twin, I need help, twin, I need help. I'm thinking like you, something happened to you, something wrong with you and this whole time like, my sim got this NPC pregnant and she homeless and I can't find her or my babies. How do I do it? Like, how do I find my children? I need my children. And I'm like, wait, what? I did not know that you were hitting me up because because your sim got an NPC pregnant and it was an alien sim and now you can't find her because she was homeless. Like, that wasn't the emergency that I thought that I was getting hit up about. I'm just saying. It just caught me off guard, twin, just a little bit. I was like, whoa. How did we get here? Cool. Me either. I just want Mariah to shut up. I just never want to hear the song again. At bar. As long as everybody getting their homework done, that's all that really matters, and I appreciate y'all. Okay, I appreciate y'all. Okay, still, I feel like you're not. No, get. get oh, you took that. You took that out the uh, confessional. You took that out of the confessional, sir? That man took that shit out of the confessional, and I am appalled. I am not just appalled, I am shocked and appalled. He lucky this is not last season. He would have been pointed for that. Like, how dare you? Put this in your inventory, because that's done, and you need to take that bag downstairs. Because that's not your, you can't take that out of the confessional area, Castile. Okay, that is not like a household. All right, we had we had a lot of theft go on last season. That's supposed to stay in one area. Look, you leaving the stuff all the way around the house. It is just the disrespect. It's the disrespect. Ryder was put in the pit last episode. Like it was just a, it was just a mess. Okay, wait. Somebody got another. Somebody got another tablet. Somebody got a tablet in the inventory. Is it you, Castile? Nope. Somebody stole another. Oh my God. It's a repeat of last season. Jesus. Lord, help. Help us. Let's go through everybody's pockets. Somebody got to have an iPad. Somebody's about to turn up somewhere. Somebody about to get an iPad back. They are so lucky this is not season one. Everybody would have been pointed for the thievery. How do we provide y'all with the necessities and y'all still decide we're going to steal from the show? I know this iPad is in somebody's inventory. I thought it was gonna be in Ryder's and she lucky. And I'm not trying to say that Ryder's a thief, but I'm just saying, bruh, there's an iPad missing and don't nobody know where it's at. It's in nobody's pockets. Here we go again. This is deja vu. This is some deja vu. Give a presentation. Submit term paper, which he needs to do.
Dr. Maya's up here making a virus. Like, okay, ma'am. You just want to put all that animosity and energy out into the internet? Like, all right. As long as your homework is done, ma'am, that's fine. What's your presentation downstairs looking like? Because we've been working on this for a couple of days, Maya, and it, I, it's no reason why it should still be poor now. All right? Maya's giving me a little bit of a headache now. Amelia, Amelia, you got your stuff done? No. Your three o'clock class homework is not done. Your term paper, not done. Okay, let's get you upstairs. Let's get you working on your term paper. Because we need y'all to pass, okay? I cannot have everybody out here flunking in the first week. Not too much deja vu, okay? All right, not too much deja vu. This is not what I want. Oh, you, oh, okay, so you, you at least started on it. Go ahead and edit that thing, girl. Go ahead and edit that thing. Miss Henry, what you got popping? I know I had you out here doing work, homework a minute ago. Did you finish it, though? And you did. We can get that term paper popping tomorrow. I'm going to let you go rest. It's fine. I'm gonna let you go rest, it's fine. Charlie, stop listening to that music and get your daggone homework done. You've been out here for too daggone long to be at uh, 50% on, if I'm not mistaken, the only class that you have tomorrow. Yeah, that's the only class you have tomorrow. You still have to submit that term paper again because it didn't take, but I'm going to make sure you do that. Okay. Okay, matter of fact, I think we'll, we'll go ahead and vote. We'll go ahead and vote on team captains before they get their grades. I don't think the grades matter. They don't necessarily. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll vote. We'll make that a poll. Um... Last week, we had Natamri be team captain of Brightchester. Sorry. So, she'll be flipped back into the, the voting pool. But our choices will be Natamri, Castile, Jordan, and Amelia for Brightchester. And for Foxberry, our choices will be Maya... Ryder, Sia, and Charlie. I'm gonna still say ring ding a ding a ling because at this point I've been saying it all my life and can't nobody tell me different. Okay, I'm gonna just say it for the rest of my life. So, thanks guys for understanding. Take finals and that one's complete. Submit term paper, you don't have that class tomorrow, but that one is complete. Okay, well you can go to sleep. Sorry, sorry, I didn't even mean to like disturb your sleep like that. My bad, you can go ahead and go to bed. We're gonna do Brightchester first. We're gonna do Brightchester first. Matter of fact, oop, before I do this, I'm going to leave Jordan out because we're going to be doing a swap after first term. So you'll just have Castile, Amelia, and Natamri as the options for Foxberry. And it'll go the same for Ryder, for Foxberry. I'm sorry, for Brightchester. Um, when it comes to Foxberry, Ryder will be left out since they'll be doing a swap. So I'll just add Ryder onto the list for Brightchester then. That's what we'll do. Instead of leaving them off, we'll just add them on knowing that we're gonna do a swap and they'll be on different teams. Boom, bada, bing. The poll is up. Y'all got two minutes to vote. You got two minutes.
Is that the only class you have tomorrow? Yeah, and that's at 3 o'clock. Okay. All right, what that time paper looking at? Because you've been up here for a little bit, so hopefully you've made some you've made some headway some some leeway is it okay now all right keep it keep it keep it moving keep it moving writer's going up to her bed the tamri's already asleep charlie you seem like the only one out here that one is complete you can also give your presentation before your class tomorrow. Is that right? No, your class is early in the morning. In fact, you can come up here and fix that right before you go to bed. Right before you go to bed. Just wrong. Just wrong as hell. Now, now if I'm guessing. We only had one person vote, and I'm and I'm pretty sure that person is, is Taylor. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Well, well, Ryder has become Team Captain of Brightchester when she switches over. That's awesome. That's just uh, that's yep, that's great. That's just peachy, freaking keen. Maya. <laughs> you voted beautiful? <laughs> that is hilarious. Well, we have the uh, poll for Foxberry's team captain coming up as well, so make sure y'all vote. <laughs> Thank you, Blutiful, for voting. I appreciate you. Not me thinking it was Taylor, and it wasn't. All right, perfect. You got your project done. You straight. That's that's good. We got that out the way. That's your three o'clock class, and then you have a 1.30 class, and you haven't started on that homework, and you're tired. Okay. All right, well, do me a favor. Clean out the fridge. And then get some leftovers, and then you can take yourself to sleep. Happy holidays, Ace. Thank you for coming through to the stream. Merry Christmas to you. And happy Friday to you as well. Amelia's paper is looking good at this point. Further editing won't improve. Okay, you can submit that as soon as you wake up, Amelia. Castillo has finished a draft of the term paper. He can continue to edit it or turn it in as is. You probably need to continue editing that. But, sir, I'm not going to, like, hound you about it right now. Um... 
I'm actually, actually, I'm gonna ask you to get some sleep. Yeah, yeah, you have class in five hours. So go ahead and get some sleep. Everybody sleep but Maya and uh, Castile. <laughs> Beautiful is funny. <laughs> Beautiful said, I mean, why not the P2 people who just switched on team? I feel like they might have a problem with each other. The fact that they had to switch and it wasn't really their, you know, uh, uh, wasn't really, you know, their home, their doing. Maya, we know that you, that you like the, the hookah, okay? We know that you are fond of the hookah, sweetie. I just want to let you know that you're at the hookah like nine times out of 10, more than anybody has been at this hookah. And I'm pretty sure it's because you like to feel good. She is thick. <laughs> Love the way she looks. Yeah, Maya is definitely a favorite. She's she's a favorite for me. She's tattooed up and not afraid to get a little faded. Cause she be over here like unwinding, needing that like de stress. Is that a new flavor? Cause you don't, you, don't, you wasn't choking before, girl. You was inhaling like you was a pro. Yeah, go ahead, go sleep. Nice little first person action. Somebody ain't been doing a project. Who project is that? In the window, and it ain't done. You wait till I find out who that is, bruh. You wait till I find out who that is. That ain't even your floor. See, I done lost. My little train of direction. Oh, you see a lot of boobage there. See, Ryder's clothes on the floor. Literally, Ryder's clothes on the floor, but Ryder over there asleep. I like a little first person action. I like that. Murr Krimma, Murr Krimma. Ah, that is crazy. Like Ryder, uh, like has her clothes everywhere, the hallway, like everywhere. It's crazy. It's wild. It's wild. It's crazy. The thick Dijon. That's what I'm talking about. Whose project is that, bruh? Whose project is that? Let's go. Amelia. Joshania, explain. What's Amelia's, what's Amelia's plan here? Because if she came here to be like bare minimum, I just need to do the bare minimum. She's not even doing the bare minimum. Ma'am, like what's, 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 what's Poppington at this point? All right, she, she doesn't have class until three o'clock. She still gotta submit that term paper. Your presentation is due tomorrow. You haven't even started, ma'am. You haven't even started. Like what is your problem? Oh! Did we just have an earthquake? Or oh, oh, was that was that the volcano? That was a uh, volcano shaking our. Oh Lord, that was crazy. I thought we was getting ready to experience a, 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 a lava rock or something. That was a little wild. Anybody affected by that? Oh yeah, everybody. Oh, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool, that's fine. Everybody getting up? Is everybody, is anybody waking up out there asleep because of it? 
it might have only been a small eruption, but, but volcanoes are still scary. Besides, their reminder that a big one may come at any time. Oh, goodness. Well, Maya and Ryder were definitely woken up. Oh, they're asleep. Uh, you can go back to sleep, Maya. You're good. So you don't need to practice programming if you are up. Sorry. Y'all need to get these clothes up. But I'm gonna have you take care of yourself first. Take a nice shower. Class at 9.30. And you have class in two. So ma'am, come down here and get you something to eat, please. They still eating off them bagels and, 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 and donuts and everything that they baked at their competition, which came in handy. <laughs> I appreciate Josh and Nia for the redemption for the baking competition. That's also what we have to vote on. Uh, next week is the will be the second competition round of the week. And we'll have to vote on another on another competition. The final exam is in an hour. My maybe there's still time to cram. Ryder's class starts in about an hour. Oh, Ryder and Charlie both have final exams today. That's why I'm trying to have you eat, girl. Charlie, you need to get up. You need to go ahead and get up. So you can go ahead and take care of yourself right before class because I don't think you'll be able to grab anything to eat. Everybody in here just scared. at 11 o'clock. Okay, and then Castile, he's getting yo, every yo. If something has got to give. Nazamri still asleep? No, Nazamri is at and you also have class in about two hours. But I feel like we can get your term paper started. Amelia got to get up and start that daggone project. I know that for a fact. She has definitely got to get up and finish that. She got to finish it.
what we scamming today? <laughs> Not scamming. I'm so dead, weirdling. Thank you for coming through to the stream. Merry Christmas Eve to you. How are you? How was your day been? We are trying to get these Sims through college, okay? Without any type of casualties. No pregnancies, no deaths this season. That's exactly what we're on. Y'all are off to class? Ryder and Charlie, where you at, Charlie? You off to class? You going? You're you're there? I need y'all there now. 17 minutes late is not really that bad, but I mean, you still late to class. You do your best. Come on, Charlie. You got to stop being so angry in the morning, sweetheart. Meditation is key with you. We got to keep you meditated and clean and fed because you are dirty and hungry, and both of those things do not match. Do not match at all. Jordan, what are you outside for if you have all of these things that you definitely need to get done? Because you have class in about three hours, so you need to get on it. Clean your booty. Clear your bladder, clean your booty, and feed your stomach. Like, what? Thank you for the lurk, Ace. I appreciate you. Final exam is in an hour for who? Ryder, the Tamri, and Castile. Okay. Please clean that up. He's playing Grand Theft Auto with your son. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> GTA 5, or we talk about the Definitive Edition? Because I bought the Definitive Edition on Switch for Mr. 2K. That man has been like wearing my Switch out, to be honest. Take a shower, Jordan. You got this. Era 404, Castile is feeling all these booleans and null references. Should he step away from the keyboard, acknowledge that he dislikes programming? Yes, you can dislike programming, so that's perfectly fine. Every time. This song will not go away. It's like, y'all, you gonna listen to me? I'm gonna just keep coming right back around. <laughs> Taylor, where was you when we was voting for team captains? Where was you when we was voting for team captains, Taylor? Cause how team captains get chosen and then, and then you pop back up. GTA 5 uh, I'm going to mess some stuff up. <laughs> this is why I wanted to get K Moody a Switch for Christmas. Cause like, damn, do I even do I ever get to play? And it, it is like that sometimes, but I also realize like it also gives me a chance to play Sims when I want to play Sims. When I could be like, hey, hey you want to play GTA on the Switch right quick so I can play Sims. So it just gives me another outlet so I can have my like electronics back when I need to use my electronics or when I want to play Sims. I could be like, all right, you, can you get off 2K? And he'd be like, what I'm gonna do? Find a hobby. That's what you can do. My hobby was gaming before I met you. You just got into this thing. Don't act like you you been doing this. Like, it's crazy, but you know, I love him since you came. So, I be letting it rock. I be letting it rock. I be, I be real, um, what's yours is mine, what's mine is yours, sometimes. Oh no, you got class, 
You got class, you got class, you got class, you got class. Go here. Who was it? See it, it was see it. See it, get up. I'm gonna add those to the washing machine because we need to get these clothes up on the floor. I know, but then I realized, Taylor, that that was gonna be redundant because they were swapping and I, I would have had to leave them off the vote and I was like, that's retarded because they're going to different teams. So I just swapped them for the vote. It doesn't matter because they, they both be, became team captains, okay? Ryder's gonna be a team captain for Brightchester and Jordan's gonna be a team captain for Foxbury Dam. Like, can't even just, can't even just give you the information without you being extra and dramatic as hell. You get on my nerves. You got my nerves. Charlie put in enough work to get a decent grade out of that class, though she saw some other students streaming to learn more proactively. Ryder put in enough work to get a decent grade out of that class. Okay, Ryder. Okay, get up, get up and get off the thing. Cause you got class now. Get up. Thank you, Samri. Go to class. Everybody who has class needs to get to class. Let's go. Y'all know you might be hungry, sleepy, tired, drowsy, snoozy, whatever you want to call it. You got to go to class. Okay. Okay. Yep. That totally needs to be fixed. Amelia, hey, how are you? You up? You're Adam? You got class in about six hours, ma'am. Your homework is not done for about two of the three. Oh no, just one? Okay, well that's at three o'clock. You need to get this presentation done. So get your, get, I mean, sorry, get yourself together. And if you could just come and um, take care of this, we would appreciate it, Thank. Yep, take a nice shower, you know, freshen up, do what you gotta do. Just um, get this project done, okay? Every, how everybody else got their projects done and you're the only one. Right, are you out? You going? Okay, perfect. Everybody's gone. Off to their final exams. They're on. They're, they're in there like swimwear. That's what I'm talking about. I demand a redo. Violence. How you demand a redo when Ryder still became team captain in the first place? She's still finna be running running the show for for two weeks as team captain she'll get the big room she can be comfy cozy she ain't got to worry about nobody she ain't got to worry about rooming with nobody she's straight for two weeks and she's on a different floor than her enemies okay she's moving i just you know it's very unfair to jordan though she was not in this fight at all okay not in this fight at all and now she got to switch schools crazy wild wild crazy Sia has class that starts in about an hour, final exam, all of that jazz. Jordan does as well. Everybody else went off to class. Cool. Okay, you're hungry. So, I mean, get something to eat. And you lied to me to say what y'all said plans. Her having to switch schools is on you. You said the teams had to be even because they do. They do. That is like an unfair advantage having a competition round and one team has hella more up, like opponents than you. Like, what do you mean? It's only eight teams in the house. We got to make the teams even. Like, what are you saying? Y'all be, oh, there goes the other, other tablet. Who was in here with it? See, I thought somebody stole it. I thought there was thievery again. We found it. The other tablet has been found. We can turn the red alert off, okay? Because I was in here watching. You got to watch. I was in here watching every sim, waiting for somebody to pull out a tablet out the inventory, like where it's been at. Where you been hiding it at? Because I checked everybody's pockets. I went through everybody's things. I ain't see the tablet, so where the tablet been at? What happened when someone has to go home and a replacement goes to the other school that, that, that 
that that can't happen. That can't happen. The replacements are also set up to where it's even. We have two for Foxbury, two for Brightchester. So it wouldn't it it's not gonna happen. If somebody has to swap a school, that means that somebody from that other school would then have to swap as well. It's a swap type of thing. That's how we're doing it now. It's, it's how we're doing it. We got to make it even. We got to keep it even. Who's doing the clothes? It was Sia. Sia, wait. Put that book down. The laundry needs to be done. And none of this laundry looks like you put it in... Pick up the clothing piles. Okay, how about how about we start there first? Pick them up. Pick them up, Sia. So if three people from the same school fell out, then what? It's an elimination round, Taylor. Why do you act like you haven't been here for the first season? It's an elimination round. They all don't go home at the same time. You asking questions like you ain't been here before. What is you saying to me? Yeah, what's going on, King Rich? My sims never work. I just use the money cheat. We ain't got time for that. We don't have time for that. I mean, technically, with University Hills, they, they, they're not obligated to have, a, to have a job in the first place. If three sims from the same, same school get pregnant, then what? That, first of all, you're, you're asking real redundant ass questions because three sims are not going to get pregnant, so shut up. Shut up, Taylor. <laughs> Fucking it. Just annoying as hell. Just annoying as hell. I know. No, no. I'm about to get rid of that redemption, too. Because you ain't about to sabotage nobody here just because you mad about Ryder and, and what she going through. All right? That girl got to live her own life. How are you eating a book, Charlie? Mama's. Mamas, make it make sense. Is life that hard for you right now? You, you got to eat knowledge, you eating a book? Because it's not making sense for me. This is not making sense. Didn't Amory get three Sims pregnant last season? No, Amory got two Sims pregnant. And they were from different squads. Thank you. And they were at different times, thank you. So let's not act like Amory was out here just shooting it up at the same damn time. Taylor, shut up! Shorty is eating knowledge. Yo, know, she's really like, she's taking, she's taking a bite out of it. And Jordan like, I gotta take notes, girl, okay? If that's how you study. What did you mean mugging me for? Charlie, what's the problem? What's the problem? I feel like this is like Kaylin quality. Is this gonna be like the new face of season two? Cause Charlie's giving like, she's giving face right now and I love it. I appreciate it. Why, but why is you mugging me though? Like, damn. I just happened to notice that you was taking a bite out of the words a little bit too seriously like it was a literal thing that you was doing your chest is sitting up real nice though mamas you looking real good like damn calm down like damn you don't have to we don't have to be like that this is crazy okay damn bye She needs some help. She needs she needs to like let off some aggression and some anger. Like that's just wild and crazy. The knowledge is not sweet and hard to swallow. Like three, who was the third? Right, that's what I'm saying. Amory, like, how you putting babies on that man? How are you just putting babies on that man? Well, hurry up, let's go. Go to class, go to class, go to class. See ya, see ya, what are you doing? Oh, you're picking. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Stop. Stop. What you're doing? You got to go to class. Put it down. You got to go. 
I know you're hungry. You gotta go though, because this is final exam time. You gotta go. Okay, I get it. I understand. We're telling you, you gotta go to class, because this is your exam time. So I need you to like move with the swiftness. Okay, you're late and you're still standing in the bathroom. Like y'all really act like y'all don't care about your education and I'm supposed to just like care. I'm supposed to like give all of my time to y'all situations and it's just like, it baffles me. This was your only class today, right? It was, okay, perfect. You need to go and give that presentation because it's excellent. Yep, go ahead and give that presentation, Charlie. Get you out the house for a couple hours and hopefully you can like mingle yourself into a good mood. I don't know. How many fights you had in real life? I was getting ready to say, who? Who are you asking, Black God, and why? Why does that even matter when we play in Sims? Let's see, Ryder, you need to eat and you need to shower. Oh, but all your stuff is taken care of. Shorty's straight, actually. I mean, she got class tomorrow, which will be a good thing for her to get done. And I'm sorry to take that approach to it, but I'm kind of baffled at the question, like why? Why is that a why is that a question? It's very random. Very random. Just asking. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's why it was very random. This is a very random question. I mean, I can't really answer that question for you anyway. I'm 29 years old. I can't, I, I wouldn't be able to let you know how many fights I've been in in real life. That that wouldn't in, in, entail me actually remembering how many fights I've been in in my life. I don't have a book that I keep a tally of, you feel me? So I can't really, um, can't really uh, answer that question. Oh, thank you, Taylor. Thank you. Oh, ET phone home. Who uh, who's going to to make a phone call, Rich? The final exam is in an hour. Maya's class starts in about an hour. Ooh, ooh. Maya has to. Uh, I've let her sleep too long. Maya, my bad. I mean, you was tired though. You was tired. You was tired. You was tired, Maya. I'm sorry. I was supposed to wake you up way before then. Clears throat, smoking loud, I'm rolling on some <laughs> So excuse me. Well, I can see somebody's having a very merry, merry Christmas this evening. Twitchy! What's going on, Twitchy? Merry Krumma. Merry Krumma Eve to you, Twitchy, and happy Friday. Thank you for coming through to the stream. I hope that you are well and in good spirits, and I thank you for coming through. What the dealio is? How are you? How was your day? Did you have to work today? Did you have to work today? They said who class was in an hour? Sia? No, Jordan and Maya's. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're outside in the bush, but you're upstairs. So, takes breath. Oh, <laughs> Allie! <laughs> Trying to find one more Ethernet cord, feeding the girls. 
Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. Are they excited for Christmas? Are they waiting for Santa, or 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 do they know? Or do they know? Oh shit, Jello shots creeping up on me. Not not creeping up on you. Not creeping up on you. I don't. Taylor, I gotta I gotta refund you your points, man. Because I had posted in the chat at the top of the stream, no liquor equals no shots. Because I ain't got no liquor. Because all the liquor store was out of my freaking drink. And I was upset. I was so upset. So upset. Do, 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 do. Why can I never a refund yourself back or something? Yeah, re refund yourself back, friend. How you ain't got an alcohol on the Eve of Jesus' birth, right? When I say no alcohol, I don't have any alcohol that I am going to drink. Uh, Mr. 2K had bought some Crown Royal black i think is in the kitchen i'm not drinking it no 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 i'm not drinking it mm -mm. i think my cousin wife used to use top shelf tequila my b days the same day as beyonce's just being random again <laughs> well, we gonna call you yonce uh black god we gonna call you yonce I moved to Texas. I think, hold on, wait, 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 because cause Switchy is telling a story. I moved to Texas. I think you know that part. So I kind of work from home. I just kind of watched the, the dealership remotely. Me, Mrs. Switchy, and the girls just been hanging around the house all day. They're super excited and sh they right in the kitchen, left all out. And they are waiting on Santa. My little one knocked over the elf on the shelf, so at the moment they may not get anything. Oh no, not knocking over the elf on the shelf now. They gotta be nice to the elf on the shelf now. Well, I do know that you moved to Texas, so congratulations on the move. Um, congratulations on the new job. You are. It sounds like that you are not doing as much work anymore and that you're in the comfort of your home and you're able to do so. So happy to hear that everybody's excited and you're spending so much needed family time. And of course, I'm so happy that you were able to stop in and say, hey, and say, hey, you know what we doing over here? Just a little bit of simming. Just a little bit of simming. Trying to get this, uh, trying to get this these these sims together with their classes and their grades mm, okay they did go to class okay all right perfect because i was like bro okay perfect we're gonna have charlie make a phone call we're gonna have her come home and then we're gonna have her go here go ahead and sit in this confessional because shorty is just upset and it just sounds like she needs to talk to somebody in the gathering but i do i i, I do wish i had liquor that i would i i like to drink um y'all know tequila is a favorite I didn't even want to tell Mr. 2K to get me any vodka because I drink vodka too. I like vodka a little bit. But it's just been like over the past like year and a half, it's like my um my tolerance for brown is no more. Like I don't like brown like I used to. I don't do anything at all basically oh i can hang out more often now yay switchy and please don't stop the stream to read my paragraph switchy you is important i'm gonna stop to read your paragraph switchy don't tell me what to do i needed to see what you said now amelia go ahead and talk to your uh talk to your ancestors talk to your peoples girl commune with the spirits it seems like you would benefit from communing with these spirits And why are we just okay with it? Is that a spirit twerking on the stove? 
We got some pineapple Ciroc. Hey, pineapple Ciroc. See, I haven't had Ciroc in so long. Oh, I haven't had Ciroc in so long. Might put in enough work to get a decent grade out of the class. Okay, that's fine. And then I think it's Maya and somebody else. They also have a class. So who's, is it Charlie? No, is it Sia? No. The Tamri. No. Who got class? Is it just Maya? I don't think it's just Maya. Maya got uh, Amelia, Amelia, Amelia. Okay. Well, after you commune with them spirits, go ahead and go to class, girl. Charlie, where you at? I didn't ask you to take your big butt in the kitchen. I asked you to come in this confessional and sit down. I'm Crown and Sprite Guy right now. That's crazy. I don't know what it is. Me and Crown, I don't mess around with it. It's just not a thing for me. I don't like the taste. Matter of fact, um, my uh, Mr. UK had came in with some Crown Royal Vanilla the other night. I had like maybe a couple of shots of it. It wasn't that bad, but it's just like with Crown Royal, I don't know. Just don't like the way it tastes. Just do not like the way that it tastes. I like very smooth tequila. Terramana is my favorite, okay? Love Terramana. And I'm so upset because I can't find it nowhere now that everybody's discovered freaking Terramana. I hate it. I hate it. Ma'am! Okay, you know what? We gonna have somebody else fulfill it. Hey, writer, I'm from a sports club that's taken a recent PR hit due to poor behavior by our well-paid stars. Your wonderful reputation would go a long way towards helping turn things around, and we'd love to mold you into an athlete. We'd start you out as a dance team captain and work with you to develop your skills for the big league. Are you in? I'm gonna have to decline at this moment. Thank you. Like Ryder's really set. She's straight for like the rest of the week. She's taking both of her final exams. Her presentation is done. Like she's chilling for the rest of the week. She's really just going to class tomorrow and Friday, and then that's that's the end of it. I can't. I can't hear you, Santa. Uh, socialize. Because everybody seems to need people to chat with. They're going to continue to pass the song on this playlist. They're going to be like, bro, you said Christmas music, and I feel like you're you're not giving this a chance. And I'm not going to because I'm not listening to that. We're going to change it. You got to listen to Silent Night for a second. Because if you're not listening to Silent Night on Christmas... Just say that you are a hater. Just say you're a hater. Just say you don't like the temptations and keep it moving. I wonder if Amelia finished this project in any way, shape, or form. Amelia showed up to class but wasn't as prepared as she should have been and probably would have gotten more out of the class. She may need to do some more studying on her own to make up for this. And the same thing has happened to Maya. Well, hopefully they get a good grade out of that class. That's what I am hoping and wishing and hoping and praying. I'm going to have Maya cook everybody something to eat. So we can at least have them have some food in the house because 
Everybody be starving. Also, continuous, continuously have to remember. Sorry about that, Castillo. I seen you get attacked by those bats. My bad, bro. Like, I send you up here and you do the opposite. I went to an AA meeting and there was a white lady there that confessed her addiction. It was so bad she was planning suicide. Ooh. I hope that she gets the help that she needs, to be honest. That is definitely not a situation to play with. Alcoholism is not a joke. If you're not hitting that sleep part like that, like what are you doing when you listen to this song? You know what I'm saying? Like Temptation said, sleep. Like the way they said sleep, they were saying rest, okay? Rest your eyes. Spiritual sustenance is food for the soul, also the body. Ooh, okay, well, all right, ma'am. But I know your your stuff is not necessarily all completed for tomorrow. You still have a term paper to submit. So let's let's get that popping as well. I think you, I think all you have to do, Amelia, is submit it, and I think you're good to go. I think we we were able to get hers finished last night. Yeah, bam, look at that. So we're gonna submit it. She needs to come over here and finish refining this project and I think she'll be good to go. That was crazy. Well, I hope that, um, again, like I said, I hope she gets the assistance that she needs so that she can beat alcoholism. Um, and same goes with you, Black God. If you're going to an AA meeting, hopefully, you have a handle on drinking and it is not uh, an issue in 2022, you know? Drinking socially can always, you know, always be a good time. Doesn't have to be a bad time, but you also don't wanna abuse it too much. You ain't like the food? Okay, so it's just bad food. Okay, that's fine. Let me get everything done for you. Exam done, presentation done. You still have to submit your term paper and you have the class tomorrow for that one. And digital brushing, which is already done. Okay. We need to clean this house though, because I don't want to point them. Because I had I had Sia cleaning up the house, and then I think we had to. She had to go to class, so I told her to put everything down. So we're gonna have her. We're gonna try to attempt to have her do the same thing, so we can do the laundry, get the house cleaned up. You gotta start on that paper, girl. Have everybody else like get ready get what we need done and popping um jordan is again to go and see her son at the daycare and i i think we're gonna do that on friday yeah, it's nine o'clock i'm good now with my drinking i pray and stay i pray and try to stay right that's what's up that's good to hear let's see it's wednesday about to be thursday she has class at 11.
she has class at 11 and 1 so after 1 on Friday we'll, we'll travel over to Glimmerbrook because that's where the daycare is and they'll have a nice little mommy in, in Sunday and she'll go and check on him and see him and we'll come back to the house we've already voted on team captains for the week which are Jordan and Ryder um, we will probably finish it out on getting everybody's grades and then we'll make that swap we will make that swap all your stuff is straight Natamri, I don't even know why I'd be worried about Natamri like that. When well, dad gone, well, I don't really like her. You gotta get your homework done for this class though. That's tomorrow, 9.30. This is also tomorrow, but that's completed. You submitted your term paper, and that's also completed, but that class is not till Friday. So you just have one to get out the way and do. And it's six o'clock, so I feel like you should be able to get that out the way early, but like I said, we're gonna get Sia to do what she was supposed to do. Where are you going? Mm. Mm. Oh, I played this twice. My bad, y'all. My bad. I played this twice. Young bad. Mm. Building with the sales, that's the only one you need to complete. Well, come on. Waffle House. Oh my goodness. I did not know that Sims could get shampoo in their eyes. Charlie is up here tense and upset as ever because she's gotten shampoo in her eyes. And I've never. Are you okay? Yo, lips is quivering and everything. Is your eyes okay? How are you even typing your term paper up if you can't even see right now? That's crazy. Amelia can ask the due date. Oh, she's gotten her mischievousness up. That's perfect. Okay, Castile has finished his term paper, so I believe we can submit that and call it what it is with him, which is perfect which is perfect okay it's long term papers and everything submitted submit go ahead and get that out the way sir the chat is blessed I like the vibe I appreciate you I appreciate you black god we just chill over here that's all we do chill enjoy a little bit of music and sim Mm. 
Miss Hamry's doing what she got to do. Charlie, I'm... We're going to let you go to sleep. And you can finish that term paper tomorrow, ma'am. See ya. Waffle House. Waffle House. I asked you to pick up them clothes. See, I need this laundry done. Who was sleeping on the couch? Is that Maya? Maya, it really kills me because y'all have y'all rooms. You gotta give your presentation tomorrow ASAP. This is the only class that you have at 9.30 and you need to do your homework. What the freak? How are you taking a nap on the couch and you're not done with a thing? I really need these clothes out of here. Waffle House. Where everybody's homework go? Why can't I find it? Where, where? Why do you always lose your homework? I'm gonna let Maya use your homework right quick, Castile. Waffle House. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Maya, like you, ugh. I think, I think, I think moving forward, we're not gonna use lifestyles because lifestyles, well, lifestyles are frustrating, especially when you're not worried about the lifestyle. I don't care about your close knit lifestyle. I don't, okay? Bruh, bruh, I know that's not who I think it is. It's like I be getting ready to go on, on a rant and then all of a sudden, like, I see something that just catches my eye. First of all, why am I used to noticing people in the background? Yo, who is, bro? What's going on, Mel? How are you, Mel? What's popping, Tin, Mel? Everybody from first season really just want to make a cameo on second season, and it really is just, like, killing me. You coming from Sammy and Mabel's house? You want to go see the crew? That's cool. That's straight. That's all right. I love to see it. I love to see it. We'll see you later, Mel. I, but that shirt looked familiar as well as the pocket on the shirt. I was like, that's, that's familiar. I know who that person is. Look at Mel making her cameo in the background. Please go get your life right. Mm-hmm. 
Talking to Amelia? Y'all having a conversation? Oh. You're taunting her?
Um, any other Sims pack before Sims 3, I played on PC because my sisters had it. But other than that, it was like, these are not clean clothes. And I refuse to let y'all do this every single time. All right, we'll put you on the floor. We'll put you back in the hamper. At least the clothes is off the floor. At least the clothes are off the floor. See ya. Cleanliness dirty. <sighs> so crazy. What in the what? Reset. Reset. I put them on the floor and they tell me that they're freaking dirty. I put them in the washing machine and they tell me that they're freaking dry and clean. <sighs> I started with one guy and created the perfect wife for him. It's cool to watch the family live their lives. It is. It is. Take to the hamper, just put it in the hamper and say, forget it. I hate the song's repeat. Do I have it on repeat? I don't. Just play it. I started playing three weeks ago. Ooh, a new simmer at that. Well, again, we welcome you to the simmer world. How are you liking it so far, though? Tag. That means, are you just specifically base game at this point? Like, do you have any packs that you that you play with? Because I know starting out, like base game. I know base game has basically gotten a lot better though with a lot of the things that they've added into just the base game, um, to where you may not have to buy a lot of the packs. We're gonna have Amelia actually use the ET phone home redemption that King Rich uh, redeemed. And she's gonna basically just make a phone call home to mom, check on everybody at the house and see how they are. We're just gonna choose that person because we of course know her family ties are not here, but it's okay. Ryder, lay your hand down. Why is you even getting up?
pretty cool. I'm playing plain Jane right now, but I'm enjoying the experience. That's what's up. That is what's up. I know plain Jane sometimes a lot of people be like, it's so boring to play without packs, without CC, without this, without that. A lot of it I feel like it's just, it, it just depends on what type of gamer you are. Oh, okay, Amelia, well, they're asleep. It's three o'clock in the morning, so, excuse me. You decided to call a little bit too late, I'm sorry. But knowing that you need some type of conversation, I mean, you can always come and talk to Sia. Ask for advice in the house. Thank you for the stretch, King Rich. I know I've been sitting here for a little bit. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Happy Elfin holidays as well as what my shirt says. Are you going to get up, Amelia? Go in, say hello, go and talk, please. 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 Come on, Ryder. It has to be Castile, cause he literally be holding everybody up. I'm finished wrapping my gifts. Now it's time to play with my Sims. Yes. Gifts out the way. Sims check. I feel that. In a hills. Get it. Mm -hmm. We really just trying to make it till Friday so we can have Jordan go see her son. But it's still five o'clock in the morning and these things are just moving so slow. He can not come over. I like when you drunk, aggressive when you sober. Dollar bills, dollar, dollar bills. Dollar bills, dollar, dollar bills. Yeah, fun is not. Mama, baby. Get some leftovers and come and chill. And watch some TV to just like unwind see uh, you dollar bills dollar dollar bills dollar dollar bills ma'am you have you have class in four hours is your homework done for that class Would you look at the, it's not. And that's the term paper you also gotta complete. Stop playing with me, Sia. Stop playing with me. That's at 1.30. This is at three. And in the Didn't let it pass. <laughs> Hoping it will last. My son is an elder. I'm gonna feel bad if he dies. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> I mean, elders definitely don't last that long. Now in my game, I play on long lifespan. Let me tell you something. Some of my legacy sims, some of my legacy families that I've had, I've had them for like four years real time. Four years real time. They got kids. They kids literally just graduated college. Her firstborn daughter just had their first baby with her child's father because they ain't even together no more. Like whole time, my families are real elaborated. So... I get it. <laughs> I totally get it because when my when my matriarchs died, I was in here distraught. I didn't play Sims for like two days because I was like, yo, they dead, bro. They're gone. Like I can't even like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I was, 
I was devastated. Can he die? He can die. Yes, yes, he can die. I be a sailor moon. I be a sailor moon. I take you to the moon. There's only room for two. And I wanna go with you. Oh, with some sentiments. Who you got sentiments with, girl? I see ya. Okay, what's, what's the sentiment? Okay. Budding relationships are happening. Friendly advice. Amelia remembers when Sia listened to her problems and shared her shared some thoughtful advice. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Sia's, Sia's turning out to be a, a, a good listening ear. That's who Amelia was, was making out with. It's definitely who she was making out with. Is there a cheat code to eternal life? Excuse me, I don't mean to yawn in your face. Um, You are either going to have to... I mean, long story short, they would have to be a vampire to live forever. And even still, it's not guaranteed. Yo, them, yo, these spirits really be like all the way around the house. Hopefully don't nobody walk in on you in the shower today, Maya. Uh, it's called Sailor Moon. By Leia. L A Y A, sweets. And we gonna play it back because it's, it's been my bop for the last like two and a half weeks. And I want you bad in a, in a bag, Loki in a mask. Blew a kiss, didn't let it pass. Hoping it would last. Riding around my feet, fighting them all small things. In the name of the moon, I can pay you back. In the name of the moon, moon. jinx form. For you, I say a raging swan. No more. Come on, writer. Be yours. Waiting for Moon, present power, make up. Mm. I be a Sailor Moon. Alessa's class starts in about an hour, as well as Charlie's class starts in about an hour. Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all get a move on. Wait, they said Sia's class starts in about an hour. Oh yeah. So you can't, you can't even go to sleep if you wanted to. It's definitely a bop. I added it to the playlist. Thanks for putting me on. You are welcome. How does Patreon works? I see amazing CC through Patreon. How do you get the spirits? It's a I it's a lot trait. Um Black God. Where are the mood lips from using the hookah? You said where or no, you said what are the mood lips? Give me a second. I'll have my one of my very good girls, one of my very good girlfriends test it out in a second after she get herself something to eat. I want her to, you know, be on a, a full stomach before she before she touched that hookah. But from what I know, it's dazed. Um, if sometimes you'll get a mood lit if they don't like the taste or the flavor of the hookah, you might get that as well. But I, those are the only two that I've really experienced, to be honest with you, beautiful. But the spirits is a lot trait, Black God, and I think that comes with Island Living. That's a pack. That that's a lot trait that comes with a pack. So yeah. 
There's only room for two. And I wanna go with you. At least they know. All right, come on, eat your food. Wait. Don't you get stuck in love with me. Don't you get stuck in love with me. Don't let you love my love and you don't let me love. I need y'all to hurry up and finish your food because y'all got class. Thank you. Thank you. Charlie was like, yeah, I gotta go. I got class. I'm late. I gotta go. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Don't you get stuck in love with me. Don't you get stuck in love with me. Don't you let a grand grand Thanks for letting me know. You are welcome, black guy. Do you know what you have in common with your sim? No, I don't. What? It's guaranteed. No necessity. Mm -mm -mm. And happy Friday to you as well. And Merry Christmas Eve. Don't you get stuck in love with me. Stuck in love. In love with me, the sun comes up and you do not make it love. That you both can't swim. How you know I can't swim? <laughs> ah, that's crazy. That's wild as hell. Baby, don't get struck. Have you ever seen an Italian that doesn't like pizza or a French person that doesn't like wine or cheese? Yes, actually. I know, I know two very close friends that are of Italian descent and they do not like pizza. So, you know, you know how that goes? Don't you get stuck, don't you get stuck, don't you get banned, don't you get banned, don't you get, don't you get banned, 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 don't you get banned by me. I'ma hit that band button on you Cause y'all be playing with me too I'm sorry to have to ask uh, for the name of this song again I didn't write it down last time Oh, it's called Stuck It's called Stuck Spleens um, By Duran, D-U-R-A-N-D I can't, I don't even know this man last but it's called uh, it's called Stuck by Duran Bernard B E R N A R R, uh, and Ari Lennox is on the track. She's the one who be singing the chorus. She the one out here belting out these notes, and we love to see it. Take care of them chops. And it's the this is the end of the song, and it kills me every time. Take care of them chops. Get up. Go home. University class. Everybody going to class. Everybody going to class. Everybody going to class. That's what I'm talking about. Look at everybody walking out the door so responsibly. Amelia, or is that Sia? 
I mean, Charlie, or was that? See, that's Charlie. Charlie, you stink, girl. You need to take a shower. I love to see the unison, though. Everybody was like in unison, walking out the door to go to class, and it made me so proud. It made me so proud to see everybody on their P's and Q's. No, we don't want you sleeping in class, right? I don't want you sleeping in class. It didn't write that down last time. I'm lurk. Well, thank you for bringing yourself back, Spleen. I don't think we're going to get to Thursday, to be honest. I mean, Friday. I think I was waiting till Friday. I think we should go and see. Jordan should go and see her son after she gets out of her classes today, which if I'm not mistaken, she just has, she had her, she just has one class at three o'clock today and she needs to do her homework for it. I'm so I'm so upset that y'all are upset and like tense in this house and so uncomfortable. Hopefully we can get it. Hopefully it's better. Hopefully it's better. Get in the Tamri. In my own And I know for a fact who you are Into a heart We are Ryder turned in her homework confidently Charlie turned in her homework confidently Maya showed up to class but wasn't as prepared as she should have been Amelia turned in her homework confidently Well alright, there we go I love to see it Or matter of fact, she can go see her son right now. No, because she got homework to do. She can finish her homework. And if it's not too late beforehand, we'll go. But if not, it'll be after the fact. Castile, I know this might be sexist, but you're the man of the house and you're getting ready to fix this stuff. You're getting ready to fix everything in this house. Uh-uh, finish eating that daggone cupcake. Why every time I look down or I look off to the side, the earthquake done started or the daggone volcano feel like it's getting ready to erupt now. Y'all are disturbing the pieces of the house guests that live on this island. I, I cannot guarantee that there would be no deaths this season if there's a death this season. There's a whole lava ball on our porch right now. I am baffled. I am shocked. When people trust you, Ryder, they listen to you. And that's what you need to be, a style influencer. There's an opening for a culture columnist, and I think you'd be a fresh new voice. Care to share your style with the world? Uh, no, not right now. Your feelings are hurt by somebody nearby, and I'm so sorry. I'm really, I really am. This is crazy. 
all pregnancies, all deaths. No. Remember the contract for the season clearly stating no pregnancies, no deaths in area aisle one, paragraph 3.4. Like literally, Amory, I definitely remember the clause, okay? I remember the clause. I remember it being in there. And yet, here we are. We're not going to have her try to touch it because I already know the rider might die and we don't want that. I'm not trying to have anybody die. I just want her to come look at it, but she can't even look at it because it's too hot. On the exam presentation done and okay, all right. Somebody needed to go and present their final exam today. Is it Maya? Yes, it is Maya. And I think Amelia also. Lick it. <laughs> Put your ear up to it to see if it's ready to hatch. I'm not, Ryder's not doing that. We're gonna wait till it cools down. Let's just get, let's get some juice and wait for it to like cool down. We're just gonna get some juice and we're just gonna wait for it to cool down because we don't want her to die. Charlie, it's the fact that you're also always on Brightchester's floor and it's just, it irks my soul. It really does. Irks my little soul. And take an angry poop and like get out of yourself. Get out of your feelings. I don't wanna keep no If you wanna come live. If you wanna come live. If you wanna come live. Work in the morning. Tamri has turned in her work confidently and squeezed every bit of knowledge that she could. That's perfect. Castillo's class starts in about an hour as well as Natamri's class as well. Okay. Did you drink your juice? Okay, you did. All right, well, come out here. Should we break it open or should we make it decorative? Selecting this interaction will turn the lava bomb into a decorative object that will not crumble with the next volcanic event. Should we, I feel like we should make it a decorative. Because opening it, who knows what's bound to pop out. Writer's like, um, I'm not really trying to like look inside of there. I'm trying to normally just like, we could just make it look pretty since it's on the porch. If it's too heavy to move and nobody's gonna be able to do that. So yeah, we should be good. We should be straight. Yo, know, Charlie really has to like get herself in a place where she's not upset because homegirl can't even dance correctly. She's out here dancing angrily as hell. Mm. 
<laughs> Ryder said, I'm I'm not opening it right now. I'm gonna go take a nap. And Charlize said, I'm mad enough to break it open. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna break it open. Ain't nobody decorating these things. It could be dangerous. We gotta get it out of here. Are you going to class? Okay, cool. Same with you, Natamri. You going? Okay, cool. Perfect. As long as y'all was on y'all way to class, that's really that. That was all that was needed, to be honest. Uh, Sia, you need to get to class. Awesome. Perfect. Jordan is the last person in the house. Jordan and who else? Jordan and Castillo are the last people who have class at 3 o'clock today. And then we'll have Jordan go off to Glimmerbrook. We're going to the Happy Homes Daycare Center so that she can see her son. Her son is being taken care of by the facilities that University Hills connected with this season to make sure that parents who have kids can still come to university and fulfill what they need to fulfill their education, their dreams, their goals and everything under the sun. So her son is being taken care of over there at that facility and she hasn't seen him since the start of the season. So we're just gonna, you know, let them have some much needed family time. And then at that point, I really feel like Friday, we should be able to get the grades and then we can go ahead and end stream for this evening. But I want to. I wanted to at least get through the grades, being as though this is the end of the first term. All your stuff submitted. Term paper, final exam, and presentation. Good. You got class in 17 minutes, so. last day of class oh today's last day of classes for y'all oh okay well then hold up wait stop the track we should actually get their grades when they come back from class this is the last day of class for everybody actually i was miscalculating that i'm gonna have to figure out what i can do to get Charlie out of the like this high maintenance thing because whole time shorty like you have got to stop being so angry you can't be angry the entire time you're here you know it just doesn't sit right there we go Everybody get on, so y'all can go to class now. Why is she mad though? She's a, she has a, the high maintenance trait that came with the spa day refresh thing. And they just be mad because the sun is out. How, how I'm gonna fix that, bro? How I'm gonna fix that? You just gonna have to stop being mad and find a median. Like you have to find a place that you can just be zen at. 
Jesus. Sia turned in her homework confidentially and squeezed every bit of knowledge out of that class. Tam and the Tamri also uh, put in enough work to get a decent grade out of that class, though she saw some other students seeming to learn more. Chad still turned in his homework confidentially. Okay, cool. All right, say Amelia. Y'all need to y'all need to get a move on Jordan. You too. Hurry up, let's go. Amelia is off to class, man. Where are you going? Just relax. How about relaxing in the sun? I know, I know. Grades are coming out this week. Everybody's tense. Everybody's so upset. Her eggs is probably too hot or something. Like, for real. Like, literally. She don't even have a reason to be mad. She just wants to be mad. That's it. That's all. Like, why y'all not flushing the toilet? Like, y'all being real disgusting. The Tamri stays in the shower. downstairs Charlie sit and try that's what I want you to do I want you to be the guinea pig right now let's see how many different moodlets we can get with this hookah so Kai I know you done walked all the way upstairs well turn yourself back around you done walked all the way to your room for no reason cause look at you Amelia turned in her homework confidentially Squeeze everything out of the class that she needed to. Um, Jordan put in enough work to get a decent grade out of that class, though she saw some other students seemingly uh, seeming to learn more proactively. What about Castile? Did he not just go to class? Or was that just Amelia? Okay, it was just now. No, they all went to class together. Call off to class, Jordan is off to class. It was Amelia, Castile, and only Amelia and Jordan's reports came back. Okay, there goes Castile. He turned in his homework confidently as well. Everybody should be good to go. And this is the last day of class for everybody, right? Okay, so I think we are gonna keep it for Friday. I think we are gonna keep it for Friday for her to go see her son because technically this is the last day of class for everybody. So in the midst of it being last class, last day of class, let's go out to the bar and let's have a good time. And I'm pretty sure they'll get their grades when they're out at the bar. That's normally what happens anyway, so let's go. Oh, there was some lava that was on the ground over here. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm excited though. I'm excited to see how these grades finna pop out. Just wanna say I did everything I was supposed to do. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. Nathaniel, I don't want to hear it.
Okay, so I'm gonna call it about 10, 20, 10, 30. We're gonna end stream. Cause I can tell my body is getting hungry. Uh, my butt is like, hey, bitch, we hurt. Okay, we need to get up. All right, we need to we need to walk around. Um, and I also still have gifts of myself that I have to wrap. Um, and I got to get up early. Mr. 2K get off at like 9 o'clock. And we'll be on the road at like 9.30. Headed to my mom, my sister's house. So we can celebrate Christmas with them and everything. So I'm trying to make sure I'm not up all night doing all of this stuff. But 9 times out of 10, I'm going to be up all night anyway. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really, really matter. Because I'm going to be up all night playing video games and doing everything under the sun it's crazy thank you sweet i mean the stretch is really just me stretching i don't even get up because i mean that that'll if i get up like you know what i'm saying Ooh, ooh, i had bent my knee that just this time one time i heard that pop did y'all hear that hopefully y'all didn't because it just goes to show us my body is just aging and as it ages it's just starting to make all this noise that i'm not ready for you know I hear a pop and I think it's like something in the kitchen, something in the background. I tried. It's okay, sweets. I appreciate you. I got what I needed. I got what I needed. So I thank you. I, I, everyone is traveling. Come on now. Hurry up with the screen. Like, why are we still here? It'd be like, as soon as I be ready to talk junk, Sims be like, all right, dang. I mean, I was just waiting for you to hurry up, you know? But yeah, we're going to head back to the sandbar. I feel like they had a nice nice time at the sandbar last time. And Amelia, Amelia was making out with that random person at the bar. So let's see what pops off this time. Those your knees creaking like that? No, that was the chair, Spleens. Why you playing with me? Okay, you know what? We about to end stream right now. We about to end stream right now. Spleen just tried to play my whole entire life. You know daggone well that was my chair. My chair be sound like that every time we stream. You playing with me. Bite out of my mind. It may be the time. Maybe we could try. Coming undone. Tell me why you found I know you <laughs> Love is a difficult night This is one of the songs, I don't care if I can sing it or not, I'ma sing this shit I've been here looking at Mr. 2K literally The streets Basically, I might not be weak. Basically, I might not be falling. Basically, I might be used to this. I found myself found myself I be in here singing the shit out of this song. <laughs> Sweets don't laugh at that. That wasn't even funny. Spleen tried to come from my kneecaps, and I ain't even like that. Like, this gets out of hand. Don't want these things, let's just dance. I'm a my man. Can you picture them? Yeah. Um, but I. This gets out of hand. It's the happiest hour of them all. Oh, it's the happiest hour of all for Cheapskate Sims. Everyone enjoys drinks at discounted prices. Well, all right, let's go. I might not be weak. Amelia, I'm only going to do this for you one time, okay? One time and one time only. Don't you ever come out the house like that again. Thank you. Rude and disgusting and nasty and rude. You put your arms down. They was just stank. Oh, 
there is always a vendor right here. Okay, so where's your apron at? Because y'all normally be having aprons on. How are you just serving me food with no shirt? But let me get that barbecue salmon though. Mm. Okay, still talking about his week, and bro was just like, bro, it's been rough. Okay, it's been a rough week. I didn't know if we were gonna pass that, make that, anything. Okay, just did not know. Ryder is headed over. Charlie is headed over to Ryder. What's poppin', Charlie? Whoop, wait! Grades is coming. Eh. And and what do you know? I know I know what, what Amelia's no, that was Ryder. This is Amelia. Well look at Amelia. We already knew what she was gonna do. Shorty was gonna come with her grades regardless. Mm. Hand clap for Josh and is. Sim, Amelia getting all A's, okay? First semester, GPA is A plus. She's out here rocking and killing it. I think I'm hungry, laugh out loud. I think the lyrics said, before this, before this gets out of hand, I heard, put the biscuits in my hand. You know what? You are hungry, sweets, because if you heard, put the biscuits in your hand, and that wasn't even the line, I don't know where you got that from, friend. I don't, I don't know where you got that from. But um, congratulations to, sorry, I had to take a screenshot. Congratulations to Amelia. She was able to pass. She was able to pass. Okay, so Maya, Maya, who's afraid of original jokes? She didn't do that bad. She did get an F, though. She did get an F, though. Last time. Just grab, just grab them in the biscuits. I'm dead. Excuse me while I make this note. And F it, what? Who's afraid of original jokes? I guess, I guess Shorty needs to go out and make sure that she's not biting off of said. somebody else's jokes I gotta make this I gotta make this a mental note uh, by it she did get one F okay she did get one F again that does not mean that she's going to be kicked from the house that does mean that she is up for elimination in the next episode so yeah okay let's just hope that she's not the only one with an F because then that just means that I mean like who are we gonna vote for ma'am who are we gonna vote for you know but I mean, I'm just going to say round of applause because her G her term GPA is still a C. Okay, she still has room to grow, room for improvement. I don't feel like this is all that we're going to see from Maya. So let's not, you know, put a damper on her parade. She did the best that she could do this term. And I feel like a lot of the drama with Foxberry's teammates had everything to do with her grades. Maya was perfectly content in that room by herself doing what she was supposed to do by herself and then she got put in that one with Ryder and then boom bada bang and look at and look at now and look at where we are treat her like Amory put her in the pit and take away her homework oh it's Lewis next on the list is Jordan congratulations Jordan uh, she passed the term term GPA is a B and we don't have any flunking grades that's awesome that's awesome that's awesome that's awesome that's awesome I mean you definitely you're definitely out here for your son so it's awesome I'm so done Ugh, I'm so scared to continue to go because it's just like, oh, Lord. Oh, come on, Castile. I had to do a real hand clap for Mans because I didn't know what was going on, okay? He had missed that class. He was going to class naked. He was out here walking in on people in the showers. I was like, a lot of this is just saying that you're trying to fail out and I don't want you to go home. 
but it's a lot like you're doing a lot and look man said I'm doing a lot but I'm getting my work done don't play me term GPA is a minus that's what I'm talking about for this man that's what I am talking about for a man that's right shake it out spleen shake it out shake it out all right Castile oh no lord another foxberry member and she was team captain she may have led them to a victory for that competition round but shorty definitely came through last place with these with, with violin through the ages okay all right charlie i mean i'm gonna need us to get it together you only have one f and that, that really is a good thing but it does put you in the same pool as maya just one who these this is charlie um just being cozy or just being cozy y'all know y'all know jess mind mind your wellness however you know jess uh this is jess a sim and jess i don't know what to say charlie like i really thought that you was over there doing your thing in the room like you was straight by yourself and again her jar term gpa is not that bad it's a c plus but she does have an f and that does mean that she's up for an elimination round so <sighs> now now one one grade lower than the tamri and you would have been right with your people you would have been right with your people but we just gonna clap it up because you your term gpa is a b okay so we are we are proud of you. This is a congratulatory. We are so happy that you get to stay with us. Um, but we're going to have to bring that grade up. We're just going to have to bring that grade up because we cannot have that. We cannot have this at all. Okay, so we had Castile's. We had Maya's. No, we had Amelia's, Maya's, Castile's. Charlie's and the Tamries. We are still looking for Jordan, Sia's, and Ryder. And my heart is racing for Ryder, Jesus. It's racing. Oh, snizzles. Okay, well, Spleens, um, I guess they all couldn't succeed as we wanted them to succeed now alessia definitely had a rough few weeks in the house her beef with Ryder, i definitely feel like contributed to these f's that's crazy because she got not one but she got two and she is on probation currently for her enrollment status Like, yeah, because she got two Fs. Her term GPA is a D. And that's definitely lower than any of our other contestants on the list that are up for elimination. Who see, uh, I was rooting for you, mamas. I really was. I was rooting that she was just going to, you know, shake it off and let, let, let bygones be bygones and get back to what you needed to focus on. But, hey life is life and at the same time this doesn't mean that you have to go home it just means that you're up for getting eliminated next week and we're sorry to hear that i'm gonna text ivy to let her know to get ready to come <laughs> what a twist i swear to god i did not see this coming i did not see this coming at all at all two f's no no from sia she had all her stuff down like I don't I don't I don't see it I don't see it but again it was a lot of fighting going on it's a lot of fighting going on that's crazy as hell <laughs> okay I'm reloaded and Taylor talking about rigged okay Ryder out here beating ass but she's still passing with a B GPA you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me. She almost failed CS. She almost failed the intro to Forest Pathology, okay? 
All right, a freaking, a freaking class about trees. She got a D minus and almost failed out of it. But luckily she passed, luckily she made it and she skipped elimination. She skipped elimination for next week. Look at that. Look at Ryder. Look at Ryder like, y'all not finna do this to me. Uh-uh. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey, no gravy, no Sam. Like, it's crazy. And music though, like what the, f Alessia, I didn't give you that name for nothing. Like, she had a lot going on. Don't even, don't even come down on her like that, Spleens. She had a lot going on. Time to sign up for classes at University of Brightchester. If you do not sign up for another term, you can do so. Sorry, I thought I heard some people outside my, um, my door. <laughs> Yay, Ryder, right? Everybody rooting for Ryder. All right, we're going to sign everybody up except for Ryder and... Ryder and Jordan. There we go. I had to remember. I had to remember. I'm sorry. Ryder, Jordan, Sia, Charlie, and Maya. They all don't get signed up right now we have to figure out whether they're going to be eliminated next week which is a great end to the freaking stream we can't even go see jordan's son because we need to figure out are they going to be in the house next week and once they get eliminated we got we definitely got to prepare and plan for the first replacement to come in the house like it's crazy it's wild it's wild it's crazy oh my god okay all right so we're going to sign up everybody who we know are recurring and coming back Uh, same three classes like we had before. She had a <laughs> right there going. Hi, Kimmy. Happy Friday to you. Merry Christmas Eve as well. Thank you for coming through to the stream. She had a writer going. I swear, she really did. And Josh Shania, I feel like you should really blame, put, put all the blame on Josh Shania if you want to put it somewhere. The fact that Sia failed in classes because she just wanted Sia to confront Ryder for the entire time. It's, it's really crazy. No electives. You'll be straight Amelia at home. All of that. Pay with household funds. Yep, yep, yep. University of Barchester, no, because you're going to Foxbury now. Uh, Castile, yep, we're good to sign you back up. Have a seat, clinical psychology basics, but why? Intermediate school social psychology and secrets of body language. Okay, see if you can get some insight to these classes. Okay, Seal also has a $500 merit scholarship that, that helps him pay for school, so we do appreciate uh, his, his forthcomingness with assisting with his own uh, uh, tuition bill. Charlie, I'm so sorry to say we're going to have to have you sit this one out for a little bit. Natamri, welcome back. Oh, okay, okay. No, we did that because it's the close. It's the closest one to communications because the distinguished program and whatnot, which I feel like she should really apply because I know. 
we'll do that. We'll do that after term two. If they want to reapply for di distinguished degrees, we'll have them do that. We will have them do that. Okay, so we got into Tamri's classes. Boom, bada bang. So sorry, Sia. And then, Ryder, you gotta sit this one out as well, mamas. Woo, that's crazy. That was wild. I did not, I did not see grades coming out like that, but you know what? It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. It is perfectly fine. I said 1020, it's 1017, so we're gonna start to wrap it up. We're gonna start to wrap it up. Um, we are gonna show some love tonight because it's, it's Christmas Eve. Writers should change programs to villainy. You got you got to talk to. Uh, you got to talk to Taylor about that, Spleens. Definitely have to talk to Taylor about that. Who is on? Nobody got it, nobody. Okay, I got it. I got it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go watch some pew pew games. We're gonna go watch Valorant. My good good man Reaper is on playing Valorant right now. So we're gonna go show him some love. Um. This was an awesome stream. <laughs> I appreciate everybody coming through for Christmas Eve. I know it, it really didn't have to be there. I know people have festivities and things that go on on Christmas Eve with their families and things like that. So I thank y'all for coming through. Um, one thing for sure and two things for certain, season two cast is not like season one cast. Season one cast was chaotic, but I feel like season two cast is like a strategic chaotic. They are, they're thinking about their moves before they do them. And they're out to, to get to get one another. That's exactly what I'm seeing right now. That's literally how I see it. Uh, Maya has a thing with kissing strange men in the back of the house. And I just feel like, homegirl, if that's what you want to do, please do so. But do not involve anybody from season one, i.e. Sammy. Okay, don't come back over here. Stay over there with your wife. Love your wife. That's it. Okay, love your wife. Did I post the raid message? Did I post the raid message? I did. Make sure you copy the raid message. I thank you guys. Merry Christmas to you guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Many blessings to you as well, Black God. I thank you for coming through. If this was your first time to the stream, again, we welcome you here. Uh, this is a very open and safe space, very chaotic and cohesive. We really just like to have fun and vibe out. So hopefully you had a good time. Um, like I said, we're going to go show Reaper some love. So give me a second, let me type his name in here. And make sure I spell it right. I will be back Wednesday of next week. We'll be getting back into the Duggar challenge, counting with the Jacobs. Um, Cause we need, we need, um, what's the face? We need August to, to, to solidify her man. Cause at this point, everybody's been curbing her and I don't like it. I don't like it. Thank you, beautiful. I appreciate you for coming through to the stream. It's always a good time seeing you here. Um, you guys enjoy your holiday. Ha happy Elfin holiday to you all. If nobody has told you this today, you guys are special in every way imaginable. And don't let anybody, don't let anybody tell you different. If they do, tell them that your streamer friend will beat them up because it's true. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna go show some love. I will see y'all later. Kimmy, thank you for the follow. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye, y'all. Bye, 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 bye.